Good day, children. How are you today? So, who are excited for our today's discussion? I'm so excited too. So now, let us discover what's so special about the moon. So our topic today is all about the moon. So before anything else, we, before we go further in our discussion today, allow me first to introduce our objectives. Our first objective is identify the characteristics of the moon. So assume that in the end of our topic, you will going to identify the characteristics of the moon. So second, illustrate the appearances of the moon through what? Crossword puzzle. So third one and the last part of our objective is relate the importance of the moon in our human life. So in the end of our classes, you will going to relate the importance of the moon in our respective life. So in the end of our class, we were going to have an a oral recitation about our discussion. So, before anything else, I want you to stand and let's energize our soul first before we go further in our discussion. So, I want you to um, energize yourself and let's have a Zumba dance. So, are you guys excited? I'm so excited too. So, what we're going to do is to follow the different steps and moves in the video presented. So, I will go into count in and you will go into dance. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Okay, I know that everybody is energized already. So before we go to our discussion, let's have a review first. So what was your topic yesterday is all about? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So for me to know that you really understood your topic yesterday, we will going to have a short review. So the review is called is crumbled words. So, there's a scrambled words um, here. I will post it in the board. So, what we're going to do is to guess that word. And don't worry, I will paste a pictures here for you to easily get that scrambled words. So, are you ready? And I will give you 10 seconds to answer. So, these are the scrambled words in the corresponding pictures pictures so first and second third okay are you ready children your timer starts now seven seconds left five seconds and three two and one okay congratulations you did it well so let's have to check your answers if you really got that correct so first what is the answer anyone okay yes yes the correct answer is the earth okay very good so the second one okay who we're going to answer this okay yes oh very good it is revolution okay and the third one yes the third one anyone Yes, you? Okay, thank you so much. You got the correct answer. It is rotation. So clap your hands. Clap your hands to yourself. Because you got it correct. And truly that you listen to your teacher well discussion. So congratulations. So before we go to our respective lessons 
I will group you into two and you are going to have a what? You are going to have a envelope. This envelope okay, corresponds a contains of a what? Cut out pictures. What we are going to do is to form this into a new one pictures. So the first group that will finish it first is considered as a winner so are you guys excited okay let's go i will give you a one minute to answer and to form that this corresponding count out pictures so are you ready ready get set go Okay, the true one minute is over. So, okay, what have you formed in the picture? Anyone? Yes, that's correct. It is a what? A moon. So, clap your hands. Yes, congratulations, you get it correct. So, I give you a pictures so it connects to our today's discussion it's all about the moon so before anything else I will give you a short video clip about our topic and it's all about the characteristics of the moon so I need you to listen and to watch it carefully because after you watch the video I will give you an oral recitation if you really understand what's the video presented. Okay, am I clear? You both. Okay, very Hello friends! Welcome to a new video from Happy Learning. Today we are going to learn about the moon. The moon is the only satellite that rotates around our planet. And it takes 28 days to completely go around the Earth. But, do we know what a satellite is? A natural satellite is any kind of celestial body that rotates, or actually, orbits around the planet. The moon is never still. It moves in two ways. It has a movement of rotation, and a movement of translation. That is to say, it rotates around the Earth. The duration of the movement of rotation and translation is 28 days because it takes the same amount to rotate on its own axis and to completely go around the Earth, the Moon always shows us the same face. When we observe the Moon along a period of time, it appears to change shape. These changes in appearance are called lunar phases and they repeat every 28 days. There are four. Full moon, first quarter, new moon, and last quarter. Alright, I know that you already watched the video I present to you, and I know that you learned a lot from the video. So now, I want you to choose a leader and a recorder in your group. And leader, please recite the standards of this group activity. So, in your activity proper, you will gonna answer a crossword puzzle. There's a across and a down direction here and a corresponding questions here so i want you to follow the directions and answer this puzzle so i know that you can answer it because you already watched the video so you can do this am i right okay let's go all right what do you observe in the near side and far side of the moon Mm -hmm. All right. What can you say about the characteristics of the moon? Okay, thank you for your wonderful answers. Yes, indeed. At the near side of the moon, it is the lunar hemisphere that is permanently turned towards the Earth, while the far side of the moon, it is faces away from the earth and 
truly that the characteristic of the moon is um, quiet unique it is because it is the only uh, satellite, spiritual satellite that orbits around the earth class you have finished your activity and now we will be doing a group reporting i will group you into two groups each group will have one representative, and I will give you three minutes to do your reporting. But before we proceed to that activity, I will give you a criteria that related to your first activity. Relevance of the content is 50%. Cooperation of the group, 30%. Unity of the group, 20%. Equals for 100%. Class. If you can hear the word moon, what can you say about it? That's right. That's right. All you have said or answered to me is correct. The moon is the natural satellite of the earth and the shape of it is round. It's also illuminate in the night because it reflects the light of the sun. Distance. The distance of the moon to the earth is approximately 384 kilometers or, or 239,000 miles from the earth. The size of the moon is the diameter of 3,474 kilometers or one-fourth diameters of the earth. Mass. The mass of the moon is 7.35 10 to the power of 22 kilometers. Density. The density of the moon is 3,342 kilograms per meter cube. The temperature of the moon depends on the reflect of the sunlight to the moon's surface. It goes to 260 degrees Fahrenheit or 127 degrees Celsius. But when the sun goes down, it will be negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Near side of the moon. Near side of the moon is the opposite of the far side of the moon. It only visible side of the earth can be shown. Side of the moon. The far side of the moon is the opposite of the near side of the moon. Also, it has multitude impact craters and a few flat. Class, I know you have learned a lot from our lesson today. Now, we're going to have an oral recitation. Explain the characteristic of the moon and why is the moon important to us. Class, I'm so amazed of your answer in your oral recitation. And to know more, if you really learn and listen to our lesson for today, I will give you a quiz. I want you to get a one for shade of paper and enumerate it one to five and choose your correct answer. Class, I want you to get your red notebook and write your assignment. Have you finished writing your assignment? Okay, class, you have finished writing your assignment. I want you to keep all your notebooks papers, books, pencils, and eraser to your bag. Class, all of your belongings are already on your bag. I want you to stand up and pick a little bit of trash on your surrounding and put it on the garbage bin. Okay, class, are you ready? Okay, now I want you to stand straight, bow your head, and close your eyes and feel the presence of the Lord and as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but us from evil. Goodbye, class. See you tomorrow.